Is she going to find out it's fucking douchebag McGee this episode? I wonder if it's Nick, right? I understand why we have to drive seven hours to see a psychiatrist. Just in case they know me. The best care possible for you. When Jules was 11 years old, her mother took her on true? a road trip. Going on a trip in my favourite piece of shit. Is she not supportive? Is she taking her far away really because she wants the best care or want people close to them to know? It was a cool thing. It was actually really sweet though. They talked for over an hour and a little oh, later good. Jules realized that she hadn't lied once. Oh good, okay. That's nice. After the session, they wanted to give her a tour of the unit. This is not nice. This is not nice. But what's the unit? Think of it like a second home, where children can learn how to feel better about themselves. Okay. This this has conversion therapy written all over it, and I'm kind of concerned. Um, on Tuesdays we have canine therapy. Uh, yeah. Music therapy. Sure Unless she has other problems that I am unaware about. Hey! Alan! I'm concerned. Suck my dick, you fucking. No. There are so many dicks in this show. It is such a switch up from the usual. <laughs> you just bought yourself another 30 minutes in the quiet room, Jesse. It was around then when Jules thought she had just about had enough of the tour. I think I want to go home. Same. And that's when Jules realized this wasn't a tour oh. at all. It was an elaborate plan to admit her to a fucking psychiatric hospital. Bro. Mom! No, 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 no! 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 Electric chair. But quickly, that guilt turned into anger. Mm, justifiable. And that anger into defeat. No, no. Hi, I'm Jules. I'm a scratcher. I'm a kicker. K I C K E R. The truth was, Jules hated herself. Okay. She hated how her brain worked. So is it for that or is it? Stuck on a thought. Like choking. <coughs> All right, keep pressing. And it would just play on an infinite loop. Not even a pat on the back, nothing. Cool. She hated her life. Not because it was bad, but because of the brain and the body. You hate everything. It's hard to enjoy the rest. Yeah. I don't think that's uncommon either. Organisms. None of them healthy. And a few scary enough to land her in. Okay. So it's for her mental health. Are you making any friends? Not really. A little change. Wait. Can you leave me the rest? Not the yellow. Not sure. the can. Mm. Oh, honey. Yeah, that's going to get you in trouble. Surely you'd... If you were, you'd worked there a while, you'd know better. Her dad quit his job to be closer to home, which she liked because she loved her dad. By 13, she started to transition. And by 16, Jules has gotten a little... <laughs> I mean, I'm 100%... She like broadening their horizons. <laughs> if you were aggressive. Spit. <clears throat> and whenever anything got too uncomfortable, <sighs> Jules would just imagine that she wasn't really herself. And this wasn't really her life. That she was just a character in a book or a movie. Or well, I got good news for you, Jules. I got good news for you. <laughs> but fuck it. She'd save it for the memoirs. Because that was the night she met her new best friend. No. <laughs> in a relationship, or even in, like, love, she imagined spending the rest of her life with her. How they live together in some shitty New York apartment and maybe date other people, but always sleep in the same bed. She even said it to her once, which was probably a mistake for, like, a lot of reasons. Hmm. 
Plus, that was before she fell for Tyler. Ugh. Oh, she's going to feel horrible. I'm positive at this point he's figured it out. I think that's the case for most people. You know, like when I look at my mom or like the kids at my school, like their profiles or their posts and their Tumblr rants, <coughs> you realize they're all just fucked up too and lost. Everyone's just pretending they know how to do things. We're all just faking it till we make it, babe. <laughs> to make it all seem meaningful. Bro. But sometimes I just sit and think, Bro. like, what's the point? Bro. Bro. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened to make you call? Um. Mm. You know. You gotta be honest. Ruby, you know that drug addicts don't reach out for help unless there's no options. So what happened? I mean, this is a random guy. You've, you've been through, like, similar things with. With my best friend. Okay, well, she's, I mean, she's a new friend, but we hang out every day. And, um, that's stupid. That's stupid. What? I just... I misread the whole situation. Not the whole situation. She does love you. I guess that hanging out with her was the best thing that's happened to me in a while. So. It's hard. I understand. Does the way in which you feel about her remind you of anything? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Is she, like, addicted to her? Or spending time with her? Okay, but this is a good thing. Didn't drugs feel real good? First time you tried them. I mean, you're allowed to have friends. Just maybe in moderation. <laughs> Pretzels. We don't have them in Australia, I don't think. It's gonna be a good night tonight, man. Let's get this money. They've got their fucking foot in everything, don't they? <laughs> nope. Why? Because I don't want to die. Where are you? I'm standing by the fucking Ferris wheel. I don't see you. Why do you always do this to me? Man, I haven't been to like a carnival or anything in fucking years. Oh, are you with this Ferris wheel or that Ferris wheel? Well, how the fuck am I standing? You don't fucking tell me. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm on my way. I, how am I supposed to know there's two parachutes? They're usually pretty big. I can't have you hanging out at the booth dressed like that. Yeah, well, maybe it'll sell better. Yo, this isn't a fucking joke, okay? Why are you being like that? Listen, my parents already don't like you. Ouch. Go home, get changed, and come back looking like a person. Fuck. Wow. That was rude. Although I'm not at all surprised. Nate. Not, not Nick, not Noah. <laughs> Yep. Hold on. No. Oh my god, Jules! Come! Yep, no, fuck it, I'll go myself. I've also never been on one of those. Is she gonna walk away from her? No? Good? Yes? Hi! I miss you. I miss you too. Mm, that's adorable. Um, I think she's in love with her. <laughs> she knows, babe. She knows. Are you mad at me? No. Okay. Can we just pretend like what I did wasn't super weird? It wasn't weird. It was weird, but we don't have to talk about it. Just pretend it never happened, it's fine. Talk about what? Yep. <laughs> so I, don't, I think it's better to actually talk about these things, especially when you're like, when you're friends and not talking about it, it's gonna hurt you in the long run. Why haven't I seen you on the field? Uh, I'm on the bench, babe. Freshmen gotta earn their due, that's all. You take that attitude, you spend the rest of your life on the bench. Fight for it. It's really not that big of a deal, Mr. Jacobs, it's just the first season. No, it is a big deal. You got one of the best slide steps I've ever seen. 
you got promise, you got talent. You're not pushing yourself hard enough. Dad, I think McKay's gonna be just. This guy is like a, a coach and everything in his life, isn't he? It's giving suburban Christian Grey. Just trying to help him keep a girl like her. Why? It's not like we're in a relationship. Boom. Why do you think this chili has been voted best chili in the county five years in a row? Because you refuse to lose. Healthy. It's about who you want to become in the world. I'm just looking out for you. And you wanted to become a chili cook? At a county fair? Yo, cash. Cash. Yeah, dude, you, like... Why would you say that? This is like... Not the first time you've said the same thing to. That big of a deal, Cassie, it's a figure of speech. It is a big deal. You guys have had this conversation before. What does that have to do with anything? You just told me that we're not even in a fucking relationship. That's because I know the guy. He's just gonna talk shit. So? Like about you. Or, or whatever, Cassie. What do you mean, whatever? Like whatever the fuck you've done. What have I done, okay? What is who I am? Make you uncomfortable? We're in the middle of a fucking carnival. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, not talk about it now. What are we going to do? Just pretend like this didn't start and just like continue the night like nothing happened? You know what? It's cool. We should just call it a night. I got to get back anyway. If who I am makes you uncomfortable, then fuck off. I would hate to force you into a relationship that you don't apparently want to be in. Watching this back while editing has kind of made me think that he might believe that he's protecting her from that video that's going around by not telling Nate that they're in a relationship so that he won't spread it just despite him. But I don't think I picked that up whilst watching. What you was looking for? Molly. Oh, she over there working at the pretzel stand. Thank you. Nice. I'd love to be able to wear shit like that. Hey, you not having fun? No. Yeah, me neither. Wanna go have fun together? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Nate's cheating on you? I don't know. You've just been acting super weird lately. I mean, they, they've got, like, ingenuity. I'll give them that. they got the, the, the mind in the game, you know? The brain on the business. Can I ask McKay if we're in a relationship? And McKay said that we were just chilling. What? Yeah, sh honestly, fuck them both. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I tell you something, you swear on your fucking life you won't say a word? Yeah, what? I went through Nate's phone. And it was weird. I don't agree with people going through people's phones, man. Oh my fucking god. What? That's him. Who? The guy. The guy? The Elijah Wood? <laughs> okay, the one in the apron serving the chili. Oh! Jules, do you know who that is? Yeah, the guy from the motel. It's Cal Jacobs. Who's that? Nate Jacobs' dad. That's Nate's dad? Yes, that's Nate's dad. No <laughs> All the apartment buildings past camper, they're his. Bro, I There's swear no to God, that's the guy There's I no fucked. Way. Bullshit. I'm being 100% serious. You, you don't believe me? No, actually, I don't. Okay, watch. Oh God, oh no. This is so good. Is Nate still there? Excuse me, sir? Hmm. Yeah, he is, I can see him in the background. Yeah, sure. Oh no! <laughs> Why did that make me jump? I'm on edge. I'm on edge. <laughs> uh, it, it's okay. It was my fault. Two dollars. All the proceeds go to the football team. Oh god, is that his wife? Can't remember if they're actually like still together. Well, no fucking shit. Who's <laughs> just like, I want no part of this. I want none of it. Hey, yo, Nate, who was that? Her name's Jules. She's new here. No, oh, he knows. Island. Yeah, she's a junior. Damn, that's jailbait. That's too bad. 
Yeah, he know. He knows. <laughs> you just went off and did it, babe. <laughs> and then you look at me. Yeah, because I was screaming inside again. Yeah, well that made him fucking look at me. He looked at me in the fucking eyes. <laughs> Everyone knows. Hey mom. Yeah, yeah, no, well because she's been in the Gravitron for like 20 straight minutes. Oh god, yeah, you're gonna have to go find your sister. Thanks, you too. I love that shirt. Thank you. Even though I have the same body as Bruno Mars. <laughs> No, I don't, because these right here, they're cut. No, they're not. Trust me. These guys are super chill, okay? Oh, God. Uh, organic food doesn't have any good hormones. You gotta get out of buy like the regular stuff, okay? What's the regular stuff? Trust me. Oh, and milk and milk. No, these three glasses a day. You gotta drink milk to get the milkers, you know? How about you grab another slushy? I can get more tickets and then get super drunk and ride the Ferris wheel. Deal. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm worried that she thinks he's floating and he's not, but I, I also kind of think. No. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I'm being a teenager again, man. I, I'm. I don't, I'm confused. <laughs> I needed to cover my shift on one set. For real, oh. She's not answering any of my texts. I promise you, I will say. Something. Yeah, I felt like he was. Honey. People talking doesn't mean anything. No. Honestly, fuck that whole family. For real. Because right now I'm looking at a thousand versions of myself, and not only do I look good, I fucking feel good. <laughs> so if they got something to say, they should just say it to my face, right? Or you could just say it to their fucking face. Right? I mean, right now you can go and say it to their face. I feel like this is a turning point. Totally. We should just pick the hottest most confident bad bitch version of ourselves and be that for the rest of the school year do it babe do it babes and this year's winner of the chili cook-off is Chow Jacob. i'm shocked <laughs> yeah i'm not supposed to be here right now because i'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me but I just wanted to say congratulations. Maddie, get out of here. What in God's name is your problem? You Woo! <laughs> oh no. Her and Nate are never getting back together, I can tell you that much. <laughs> that is not correct. She's just going straight to I mean, she can't be too far. Well, I have to get her home in like 30 minutes. I have a horrible feeling in my gut. Don't manhandle her like that, dude. My mama <laughs> what the she fuck is actually cut. wrong with your I fucking think brain? You're overreacting. <laughs> you're fucking dead to me. Uh, let go. Let go of her. I do have one question, though. Yo, what? Oh, God. Is she gonna try to blackmail him? Yeah! Can we please find Gia quickly? Please, please. In like a okay position, that'd be great. What, you wanna fuck the carny? <laughs> Having fun, babe. God, don't fall off, please. Damn, you're so fucking hot. She does. <laughs> oh god, I, I was really afraid she was going to fall off. Yeah! That feels like a fire hazard. She had a huge really cut. big dick and fucked every girl in your grade. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> How old are you? Wow. 16. And now it's all on you, dude. I mean, it's all on you technically anyway, but. God, that'd be uncomfortable. But I'd get like, I'd get fucking seasick. <laughs> Please don't fuck on the carousel in the middle of everyone. I need, I just, I need you to promise me that you're not gonna tell us all. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna tell anyone, I promise. Like, on your life? Yeah, on my life. I'm sorry I got so angry at you before. I am sorry. You know, usually I'd be quite, like, empathetic to someone struggling with their sexuality and all of that shit, but he's just generally a terrible person outside of that, so can't really bring myself to do it. I got a lot of shit going on right now, and I'm really confused. I just don't know what to do. Honey, you were probably better off just letting him break up with you. <laughs> Mm. Jail. Jail. Also technically jail, I think. I don't actually know the law, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, gross. <laughs> yeah, you're never gonna live that one down, darling. You're not even like remotely in private either. Was he wearing protection? Just chilling. Yeah, that's my sister. Yo, Roy. What's up? This is Rue's little sis. Oh, yeah, I do that, by the way. She was hitting the weed. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. All right, Jay, get up. Let's go. Yeah. You, you gotta be careful because you can't really call her out on her because she'll just call you a hypocrite. Wow. I'm not playing with you. Let's go. What'd you do? Decide to just clean up and like, oh, I want to become a mom? Right. Like, no, we have a mom and she's asking us home. Hey, if she's a mom, you know she a milk. <laughs> <laughs> get up. Yo, for real, when'd you become such a bitch? <laughs> Put your fucking joint down in your eye, mate. I wouldn't be taking advice from her. Yo, advice to stop doing me. drugs? Don't do that shit again, right? Fucking scared me. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Look, I know you have the power to ruin my life right now. I'm begging you. Oh, he's having an actual conversation. I know you already told your friend I saw her look at me. And... She won't tell anyone. I promise. Because if this ever came out, I'd lose everything. I'd lose everything. You probably shouldn't have done it in the first place, sir. I have no intention of, like, hurting you or anything. I'm sorry about earlier. That was kind of dumb. That's okay. Why does he seem like a measured individual? Don't worry. Oh, he's probably scared. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, the way he like walked up to her was like really like. <laughs> but he's got like a problem, right? Like like an actual like addiction. Where were you? Getting off on the merry-go-round. <laughs> oh, way too strong or something. I would simply move away to another country. <laughs> Did you come? No. No. <laughs> Proud of you, girlie. <laughs> Trust me, look, I need you. When we get home, to just go straight to your room and hide under the covers, okay? Just let me deal with her. What are you gonna tell her? Just say that you, like, had a bad corn dog and you feel sick. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, but yeah, then you get the giggles. No, <laughs> honey. Yeah. <laughs> You leave him, sweetie. He ain't worth the shit you flush off at Taco Bell, I can tell you that much. I feel horrible for her, too. Her dude's just a dick. Did 
Is he ever recording and he needs to delete it? Does Nate have it? Yeah. That's fucking haunting. Yeah, y'all really didn't need to shoot it like that. That was terrifying. Mm, and it's gonna be him. Oh no. Hey. Mm. Tyler? Don't stop. No, oh, honey. No. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not. No, don't fucking talk to me, mate. I'm not the person that you met that night. Can you let go of me? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, is she going to give him the time of day? Please don't. You know, over the past few weeks, I've spent every moment of every day getting to know. Bully for you. And you've lied to me. Cool. I fall asleep to you. And in the morning, I wake up to you. Good for you. I kind of feel closer to you than I do anyone in the whole world. You lied to me. I don't trust you, Nate. Yeah. Trust you don't fucking touch her. I don't like any of this. Yeah. This is not going to end well. Are you broken inside? Takes one to know one, I guess. That's precisely why I don't trust you. Great. Now fuck off. Because you're so broken, you don't even trust yourself. Didn't ask for. And that's scary. A therapy session. Over the last three weeks, you have knowingly produced and distributed child pornography. So have you. Include. I don't know if you're familiar with child pornography laws in this state. But they apply to minors just as they apply to adults. I sent them to you. No, you sent them to an account of a person that doesn't fucking exist. And I mean, anyone can anonymously report child pornography. Murder. Skip and the I jail. Tell them everything. Okay. Murder. And everywhere you go, for the rest of your life, you'll be harassed and spat at and treated like a fucking animal. Are better than that. Because I know you. You're kind. You're smart. You're generous. You got a big heart. Thanks. You deserve. You deserve whatever the fuck it is in this world that you want. And to think I could have it if you so didn't keep live. Head. Keep your mouth shut. Don't try to ruin my life. She wasn't no, going to, dude. You know what I think? I think you're a fucking <laughs> just like your daddy. <laughs> mm. Hated that. You have a nice night. Bye, <laughs> oh, Captain. You, Jesus, you have to be some kind of piece of fucking work to even have that mindset. I hate those like toddler and tiara shows. They're so weird. She just knew that she had something special. Performer baby. Something immeasurable. Presence. Because you didn't have to be the prettiest or the tallest or the blondest or the hate it. You just had to have fucking confidence. 
You had to nail it, babe. Stage presence. This guy. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, I knew it was coming. Her dreams were dashed by some random 50-year-old creep who didn't molest her, let alone even meet her. That's why I hate them. But then she realized how much she liked not doing anything. <laughs> Relatable! Her mother was an esthetician, which is a fancy way of saying she gave pedicures to rich people. And her wow. dad was a drunk. Judgmental. Was that is different. She quickly realized that there are two kinds of people in the world. The people who sit in the chairs with their feet in the... And the people who do the feet. Both are deserving of respect. <laughs> she had had a thing for Nate for a while before he finally asked her out. At first he was a gentleman, like flowers every day kind of... I bet. And she did love Nate. She loved her relationship with Nate. She was also a really good girlfriend. Granted, good for her. She didn't always tell the truth. <laughs> of course not. Because the truth truth is that when she was 14 on vacation in Panama City Beach, she met a guy who was like 40. No! Beck seems kind of rapey and weird, but honestly, she was Seems? No, she wasn't. Well, she might have thought that, but... Babe, the power dynamic there. But that's the thing with what? guys like Nate. That's all they cared about. They don't oh, actually yeah. want a person. They want an object. Like Sharon Stone in Casino. But the cool thing about Sharon Stone in Casino... Never seen it. She also watched a lot of porn. Not because it turned no. out or anything. Just trying to learn things from porn, baby. No. Really closely. There were a ton of really good secrets. Faking it. She wanted Nate to feel good about the way he fucked. Because if you make a guy feel confident and powerful, mm -mm -mm -mm. well, they'll do anything. That one. I mean, power to you for that part of it. But, like, you need to, you deserve enjoyment too, babe. Although maybe the enjoyment is in the material part of it. And if you're not fussed about it. <laughs> I love you. I fucking love you too. <laughs> it's such a toxic relationship. Except for that DJ who said he opened for Calvin Harris. And the stockbroker guy with the family. Who except for... <laughs> except for all of these guys that she did want to fuck. <laughs> the poor guy with the fucking cleaner. <laughs> but, honestly, those were all times when Nate and her were on a break. WE WERE ON A BREAK! But because of who he was as a person, she was afraid he'd hit her back. Especially because yeah. he was coming to terms with his sexuality. Fucking dead too. It's like the root of a lot of violence. It doesn't excuse it though, babe. And when she got home that night, she felt sick to her stomach. Good, let him go. Like enough to throw Cut up. that line. Cut that line, babe. It wasn't the violence that scared her. It was the fact that she knew no matter what he did. She was gonna go back to him. still love him. Yeah. She said it's someone that'll treat you fucking right, babe. And you deserve it. But honestly, the best thing I've ever had is fentanyl. There is not a thing on the planet Earth that compares to fentanyl. Mm -mm. Except Jules. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Bet Peck. Drew, dinner's ready. Uh, okay. Are you coming? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come in a second, babe. <laughs> it may not matter what I think, but I really like her. Good. I like the two. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I just worry that, like, she'll get addicted to her or something like that. Well, that's, like, kind of the way they're framing it. But I feel like she knows that she's, like, a, a person, like, her own person. My concern is that she'll project onto her is what I'm saying. Yo, looks good. You ready? Um, how bad does it hurt? I didn't hurt like at all. It's all good. I've been doing this for years. How old is this child? There's no fucking way I'm doing that. <gasps> right. Yep. I didn't know what happened the night Jules met Tyler. I'm kind of like interested to know how that feels. If anyone in the comments has a like a tattoo on their inside of their mouth, how did it feel? What did you get? You want to tell me what's going on? Stop when we get inside. Great. He's, all of the things he's done wrong is just like rolling through his fucking head. Cal, you okay? Yeah. Give me a second. What are you freaking out about? <laughs> what happened was that morning, Maddie went to school. <laughs> what are you, the Unabomber? 
What are you, a dominatrix? <laughs> yeah. I love that lipstick, though. How tall is she? Bruce. Maddie woke up three hours early, applied more concealer than a burn victim, and tried her best to cover up. Hmm, babe. From the molly she took at the carnival, got depressed, and therefore oh, God. had anything to eat or drink the entire weekend. Oh, babe. Plus she actually was actually on her period. That's just even, that's even worse. Maddie. Oh god, did she like pass out, pass out? Oof, babe. No, you look sick. Obviously, you look sick, you babe. A lot this weekend. But my real concern is the bruising on your neck. There is no bruising on my neck. Mm, paramedics saw it. Yeah, well, they're lying. Why would they lie? I know you're trying to cover for him because you love him, but you deserve better, baby. Well, I want you to know that it is not your fault. I'm trying to find a really respectful way to say this. Get the fuck out of your business, out of my business. It does concern me, Madeline. You're 17 years old. You're a minor, babe. I suspect that you're being abused. I'm mandated by law to report it. Fuck. Was it someone you know? Was it Nate Jacobs? <laughs> I love the way that you, like, knew that, too. Called his mother the C word. I mean, he did, like, Oh, okay, he interviewed other people. Yo, straight up, the chick's crazy. Wow. Um, I don't want to talk until I get a lawyer. You're not being charged with anything. Babe. Look, Nate's gay. I'm being serious, Barbara. I am being serious. Yeah, that's why Maddie was upset. I don't know about the carnival, but I do know she smashed some dude in the pool at McKay's. Smashed. Boinked. <laughs> this poor fucking principal, dude. My god, he's tall every fucking time. He's tall. Don't worry, we will. He's familiar, the blonde policeman. I feel like he was in like a sitcom or something. What was that about? Probably because Nate tried to kill Maddie. What? Well, she found all that gay porn on his phone. Who told you that? Wow, shit travels so fast in high school, man. Lexi will never repeat that because literally none of it's true. I mean, it's not entirely inaccurate. Hello? Uh Daniel, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Have we met Daniel before? If I promise not to say anything, can we hang out again? <laughs> Just break up with the boyfriend, babe. Hey, did you get my text? No. Really? I sent you a bunch of texts. Sounds like delivered on my phone. Oh my god, dude, drop it. Take the hint, dude. Take the hint, dude. You're in class, also. And for those of you who didn't go to East Highland, <laughs> Luke Caston was a fucking god. I mean, he graduated years ago and people still talk about him. He's the biggest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, the DNMing. <laughs> oh god. And I had this like realization, you know, like this epiphany. That no matter how cool or, or sexy or or smart you think a guy is. He'll crumble. Just fucking pathetic. They'll crumble very easily. By the way, if you want to come, I put a body harness on my Amazon wish list. I'm gonna need you to buy it for me. As I've said, I'm just getting past like the weird shit. But like, power to you. I spent my whole life afraid people were gonna find out that I was fat. But honestly, who Bad. gives a shit? So in awe of you, kid queen. There's nothing more powerful than a fat girl who doesn't give a fuck. She's gorgeous, and I don't even think she's that big. And even in saying that, it wouldn't matter either way. Just... All right, yeah, yeah, that's the guy from the store. Didn't do it. Then who did? It wasn't me. How do you stop lying? I'm not lying. I am not gonna let the son of a bitch attack my daughter I'm and get sorry. away with it. Good for you, babe. I would like to press charges. No, you're not fucking pressing charges. Oh, I'm gonna press charges. No, you're not pressing charges. You don't go no, you're not pressing charges. Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would like to press charges. There must be some misunderstanding. This doesn't sure something my son would do. Not even the principal believes that. It'd be best for you to speak to your son before we take him to the station. He's just this way.
What are you so worried about, mate? What are you worried about? He knows about the jewels thing, and I feel like he knows he knows about the jewels thing too. Did you do it? You did. Admit to it? No. Did you do it? Yes, sir. Affirmative. No. You took an entire hour to answer that question, mate. That's good to hear. I know you don't believe it. Listen to me. You need to stay composed. You're going to talk him out of it, aren't you? Out of the school with your head held high. You're going to talk him out of this situation. No repercussions whatsoever, but... What's about to happen to you, to me, to our family, is not going to be easy. You walk out first. I'm right behind you. Or is he going to make him, like, cop to it? I'll have a little bit more respect for him if he does. But there can be much respect to be had with this man, but... Don't look at me. Don't you fucking look at her, mate. Go oh, fuck off. Mm, I know, babe. I don't blame her at all. I understand. I also understand where his aggression comes from, but it doesn't excuse it, you know? <laughs> Awkward. Okay, one, what was that about? Two, can we talk about the fact that you fuck Nate's dad? <laughs> can we know? This is like, like, even if you decide you hate me one day, like, you can never tell anyone. How would I ever hate you? But, cute. <laughs> Seriously, this is some go It's a top picture. secret. Yeah. Can you promise? This is like a CIA confidential level secret, if alright. Nate's scary. Yeah. Whole fucking family is scary. Unhinged. I feel like is a appropriate word. Untethered from like reasonable reactions. I don't know why Jules didn't trust. Cause she's scared, babe. There's literally nothing in the world that Jules could do to make me upset. I even told her that. Yeah, right. No, for real. It's true. So, like, do you have a lot of one-night stands? Um... Def <laughs> Define a lot. Jesus, kid. Who cares? I'm just interested to know. Is the sex, like, good? I don't know, it's like... It's not even the point, you know? It's more about- Pray like, tell, what is the point? Everything that leads up to it. That's the good part. Oh, and you get a high off, like, the, the sneaking around. And the foot play. I had my first kiss at the age of 12. With a boy I didn't really like, but I just wanted to get it over with. I gave four hand jobs in eighth grade, two blow jobs Yikes. in ninth, one of which I was emotionally coerced. Gross. Entire school it's horrible how many people do that, to that too. Friend. Also, at 15, I ate two Zanny bars, drank a beer, which is super dangerous, and lost my virginity. Damn. Did you come? Totally. <laughs> she looks so unimpressed. Just mm -hmm. you look like you came hard. All I know is, Dude. life is not a Nicholas Sparks novel. I've never read a Nicholas Sparks novel. Whoa. What in the motherfuck? I understand this. Is oh wow. Way, but you're gonna have to cooperate. If you literally step any closer, Dude. To this procedure. I need you to remove your sweater now, and if you don't, we will remove it for you. What the fuck? She's a minor and she's obviously Wow, why? We don't want to hurt you. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? This cannot be procedure, surely. If she's like not okay with it, they can't force it. God fuck, it is bad though. I know you're really upset right now and you don't want to hear this. Sure. I 
I asked her why she was acting that way. Like, when I asked her what she was doing. I'm assuming he's probably going to get away scot-free. It's also likely that, like, she's going to let him get away with it too. At least for now. And after that conversation, was that the last time you spoke to Miss Perez that evening? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is he ever going to get in trouble at home? Like, he don't. Like, the dad knows he did it. Her and I don't have the healthiest relationship. No shit, mate. No shit. And yet you continue. I love her. No, I really love her. No matter how crazy she acts, no matter what she does, I love her. If you really loved her, you'd know that you're not good for her. And vice versa. But, like, you're teenagers and I get it. I know for a fact that she's been with other guys. And? I don't think it's possible that that night. Right, yeah. So you act like the heartbroken teen. This Highland football team has a zero tolerance policy. I'm a survivor of abuse. It took me 10 years to admit that. And what is everyone blaming her for it? Wow. Inability to admit that what you're enduring is not normal, not okay, and not love. Those are the moments that. Are you checking on your friend? And what happens in a month, six months, a year, when she moves away and goes to college, when she tells you? Oh, they're still having conversations. That's cute. Mm. Nothing in high school lasts forever. It's true. I feel like you're not approaching the situation realistically, and that's not entirely your fault. I met someone. She helped. And now I want to stay clean. And shit, maybe that's maybe that's me being selfish. How is it you being selfish? Cause uh I've been clean for thirteen days. It's been okay. Um I've actually been really happy. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's why I wanted to come here and tell you guys the truth. Good for you, babe. I just worry. And, like, mind you, I, I have no, like, leg to stand on here. Like, no, nothing in the race of addiction because I don't know anything about it personally. But is it worse if you latch on to something, like, if you're sober for someone else, whereas being sober for yourself or it's just, like, anything helps? Because I know it's a lot of pressure on Jules which isn't really fair, but if she's okay with it, then she's okay with it. But legit, like, I actually don't know. Tell me in the comments if you do. We could all just do, like, a family thing together. Maybe go out for dinner or something. Oh, he wants to meet her. I'm sorry. Why? Because you're embarrassed of me? Or is it because you're a thing? Why don't you want them to meet? No, I'm okay. It wasn't his dick. It was other guys' dicks. I'm confused. Who told you this? With dick pics. The ones you told me about on this phone. I don't know if your brain is all scrambled from like all the molly you take, but I never said that. Damn. She really doubled him down. You made me feel like you weren't proud to be my boyfriend. Hmm. Yes. I mean, it's been times when you've been very weird about it, dude. I'm proud to be your boyfriend, trust me. I'm sorry too. What do you gotta be sorry about? I fucked a horse. I don't think I'm like good enough yet to just do music. But that's like my dream, you know, or whatever. We all have those, babe. We all have those. What about you? About me? You look do you like know what you want to do, babe? Creative or something. I don't know, you know? <laughs> creative. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, just like the way you dress and stuff. You have a way to speak. You visually tell a story. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Really? I was just making conversation. I think that's my point. You don't really have to. 
I mean, it's nice too, babe. Maddie wasn't doing well. No shit, babe. Over the course of the last five days, has she Maddie been eating? Made a total of 273 text messages. Ah, no! Plus, everyone in her life was against her. She's right, but like, I can understand her not seeing that. Also that, like, not having a good, like, view of things because of your personal, like, home life as well. It is good to know that there's one person in this whole fucked up world who has my back. You think I want this? You live in the Nothing. same house and you don't even say one word to each other. That's the difference between me and you. I can see where this has come from. So like what? Do you want to do coke? No. <laughs> wow, this is a great experience. A plus. Uh, oh. Are you doing this because you feel like you need to? I don't know if you want to, babe. Maybe you do, and there's no judgment if you do. Apart from again the fact that you're a minor. <laughs> but as I said, we're letting that go. It was just too good, babe. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Seriously, that was like one of the best blowjobs I've ever had. Okay, I believe you. No. Bye then. I feel like you like it for the power, right? Which is fair enough. Go off. Just make sure you're okay. Like, you're okay. I used to go skating all of the time. I feel like I've said this before, but I'd like to go again. I miss it. <laughs> go off, babe. It's because of you. Of you, you know. I know this conversation. Yeah. What's wrong? Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. What's wrong? She's starting to feel a little bit of pressure about the whole thing. It's okay to feel pressure. You know that type of person that like just tries to get under your skin for like no reason? Like, yeah. You don't care. I can breathe. Well, that skirt, though. You from around here? I'm from planet Venus, baby. Okay, going too hard. For him, anyway. Go off, babe. I feel like he's not into it. Too much. <laughs> I'm, um... He likes being more in control, I think. What is up with you? You want a popper? No. He's acting like a serial killer right now. If I were them, I'd be gone. <laughs> Boys or girls? Boys. Let it out, babe. Mm. Yes. Even I mean, they don't know it. no, but because he does know it, <laughs> and it's not even like. It's the hiding it part because you make him feel like it's dirty. But it's also the fact that, you know, he's watched all of your fucking recording porn bits. So that's, I think, what fucked him up. I spent my whole life trying to keep this part of me separate. But I feel like it's poison everything. You can't split yourself in half and then think that you're going to feel whole, you know? Maybe because you let them get away with literal fucking murder. Because it's too late. Is it? It's always going to be inside me. Is it? I feel like you just give it up. 
like you one you never even really tried to begin with but two you just give it up on it now like you didn't try to the point where it feels like now it's just forever going to be that way so you just like convinced yourself that you don't even need to try Man, there are some articles of clothing in this show that are just super unique. And, like, I like them. Like, I like them, but they're just different. I'd Like, I, I'm not confident enough in myself to pull them off, but, like, that jump is, like, sick. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> well, I feel like something's about to go wrong. It seems like we never do this anymore. <laughs> Is it just the music that makes it feel like something terrible is about to happen? Like it's just really melancholy. I feel like she feels like she's being too clingy or like she's getting a little bit um, suffocated. You did stop in the middle of the fucking road, babe. Oh, you are unfortunately obsessed. Is that the same hotel that his dad's at right now? Because that could be fucking awkward. I don't particularly want to witness that, but I also really do want to witness that because I am here for the tea and I'd prefer to be scorching hot, but I kind of also really don't want to watch that. Oh, well, they just like pull in right as <laughs> No, we're good, we're safe. That yeah. <laughs> gonna be like that meme where they're like driving by each other. Oh my god. Hey, hey babe. I really like that skirt, man. I feel like she needs the comfort, but it's just really unfortunate that he's like she feels like he's the only one that can give it to her. And in saying that, I feel like like her friends have really let her down as well. You're feeling smothered, babe. You need to talk about it. Don't just bottle it up. Well, it's really hard. I know because like you feel like she's like a grenade that'll go off if you talk to her the wrong way. I get it. Christopher McCain's father demanded excellence. Although she feeds me bread of bitterness and sinks into my throat, her tiger's tooth, stealing my breath of life, I will confess. Go up, babe. How strong you think you are? You are stronger. Her vigor flows like <laughs> tides into my blood, giving me strength, erect against her hate. Her big I have a love-hate relationship with, like, parents that are coaches that push their kids to, like, achieve athletically. Because, like, I was one of those kids. However... My mum and dad both agreed to back off and let me, like, go my own way. But sometimes I kind of wish that they had kept on it. <laughs> but I can I can recognise how toxic it can get because, like, they needed to step away. I think there just needs to be, like, clear borders, like, clear lines. Are you kidding me? Don't do it, kiddo! You get angry, you lose. Daddy, you got I don't give a good goddamn. Oh, yeah. Why do you think he's talking to you in the first place? Because, he... because he's trying to get a rise out of you. Trying to make you upset. Lose focus. You can have that anger, but hold on to it till later where you can report the fuck out of him, babe. How am I supposed to react? By taking everything you feel. All your frustrations, your anger. Your Don't rage, say stuff you down. You bottle it up. Oh, what? And when that snap comes, you let it explode. That cannot be what they're teaching children. The <laughs> he was recruited to play Division One football at the state college, thirty miles from his house. Cute. He began to imagine a life in the NFL. I feel like a bot's coming. Please tell me there's a bot coming. He deserves it. He's worked hard. And then he got to college, and he realized and... that everyone on the team was as good as him, if not oh. better. Just like lift them up. When the offensive coordinator would break down plays, he'd find his mind wandering. Trying to do the math and the odds of him going pro. 
So he got too focused. He he got a little bit too far sighted. <laughs> and he realized for the VR game, he didn't stand a chance of going pro. Oh no, he's just let it go. What have I done, okay? It's not like it's that big of a fucking secret, Cass. I mean, even her mother said it. I tell you, it's not easy to hold her attention. Like mother, like daughter. But and he also liked the way she made him feel. Ugh, God, that fucking shot, mate. <laughs> and he liked the way she dressed to a certain point. But it's not like he would say anything. He wasn't that possessive. Good, because it's not his business. I worry, like, you don't have to give up on your dreams, like, before her. But I understand only having enough, like, in your mind to focus on one thing at a time. Oh, you, you look, look banging, babe. Fucking amazing. Thank you. I don't really so feel you. it, but, you know. Oh, why not? Sweetie, it took you had to talk about it. Um, you smell like alcohol. Uh, I mean, it's Halloween, right? <sighs> I know I said it before, like, it's difficult because of rude situation, but if you don't talk about it, it's gonna come to a head that makes it worse. <laughs> Cassie was very proud of her costume. In fact, she had worn it last night, too. Holy smokes, look at you! Nice, babe. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, Cass. I feel like if we go to this party and you dress like that, I ain't gonna ever hear the end of it. So? In a bad way. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? I hate people that tell you to, like, cover up. Like... Straight up? That's the coolest Halloween costume I've ever seen. Thanks, Daniel. I love the scene where they fuck in the <laughs> telephone booth. I bet you do. <laughs> Ted Bundy was taller. So? Nice. Cat's parents were out of town for the weekend, which was good because it gave her the freedom to focus on the important things. Fucking. Expanding her empire and collecting her motherfucking bag. Go for it, babe. Pity, pity. Let me see you oink, piggy. <laughs> Go off, babe. Cheers. She was getting a number of incoming requests for cam sessions, most of which she turned down. And then, last night. Damn. Bet. Damn, that looks like the life. <laughs> Damn. I think I'm gonna get really fucked up today. I'm just saying. <laughs> cool. <laughs> She wants to have fun, let her have fun, Rupert. But... I think it was the night of McKay's party. And it's not and... like I'm a drag and want everyone to be sober around me. It's just something felt off. Well, yeah, there is. Um, where's Lexi? Uh, she's kind of hard to miss. <laughs> Pop Ross. <laughs> I love it. Cherish it. I love it. Fuck off. The whole point of Halloween is to look attractive. No, it's not. Oh, really? You do me a favor and you count how many girlfriends of yours are dressed up like 50-year-old men. Me, I'm unique, bitch. Wait, did you guys hear about Nate? No. Oh, God, what? Nate had been temporarily expelled. That I knew. Nate, you're innocent. You act innocent. You know that he's fucking not, babe. Yeah, yeah, one second, let me... Is the fact his son got expelled like really gonna be something that you gonna get the mac and mash? Mm, yeah, probably. That's gonna like affect his like restaurant experience. <laughs> How does taking him so long? Good to see you, Cal. Tim, likewise. Yeah. Listen, um Hi. Really? I mean small towns, I guess, but really? <laughs> Seriously, Tim, you didn't do it. I know. I know. It's mm -hmm. just what the mayor at this time. I feel like that's, like, I, I don't know. I mean, I get it, because you probably don't want, like, other people seeing someone that's just been accused of, like, domestic violence in your fucking restaurant, especially if it's, like, a family restaurant. What are you printing? Then he decided to spend his days driving around aimlessly.
sometimes he'd check in on Maddie. Good for you, boo. The fuck are you printing? And why do I feel like it's gonna be horrific? Stay away from the children! Or watch her house at night. Sir. We met Maddie every Friday night at the motel. He looked forward to it every week. Maddie always made him feel better. Mm hmm. It's because she's like completely devoted to you. And in turn, I made Maddie feel better. Mm, super unhealthy. It's always gonna be like this. Are they just watching fish on the television? <laughs> Oh god, what's this plan? Why do I feel like it's super nefarious? Is that Jules? Please don't tell me that's Jules. Yeah, it is. Is she okay? I don't know. Does she normally drink? No. Something's definitely going on. Yeah. If they had like, talked about it before, then it would have been fine. I won't be able to do adult things either. Is that her sister? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What the fuck yep. are you doing here? Getting lit? <laughs> Did I fucking ask you? <laughs> what happened last night, babe? Don't do anything stupid, babe. I feel like you're gonna do something stupid. Ah. Here comes stupid. Do you ever been to rehab, Roy? No, I'm sure. Roy, I'm... Troy, I don't give a fuck. I said, have you ever been to rehab? No. Well, in rehab, there are some real fucked up motherfuckers. We're talking people who are on the hook for armed robbery, attempted murder, real fucked up shit, hardcore motherfuckers. It's true. <laughs> I went once. It was scary. <laughs> You're not really intimidating over there, babe. <laughs> we tend to make friends with those hardcore motherfuckers. So let me be very clear. Cool. You go, babe. So much as go past first base with my little sister and try to get her high again. I will call Omar. I will call Marlo. I will call Avon. I will call Brother Mozone. I will call fucking Bodie. And I will call fucking Stringer. And I will have these motherfuckers standing outside of your front lawn. Do you hear me? Or even we, they. <laughs> This is great. A plus history. Oh, I think he understands. I don't think he understands. Tell her you understand. I understand. They. <laughs> <laughs> I cherish it. I do. <laughs> I think you scared him good, babe. And then just kind of like disappeared. What is that yeah. weird fascination with me? I don't get it. What? I don't have a weird fascination with me. I thought we were friends. Run, 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 jump, jump, um, we do friend stuff. I, I don't know, then we would like hang out again. Ethan, why would we hang out again? Because we like enjoyed hanging out. Ethan, if you want me to suck your dick or fuck you, just say it. People can like you just for you, babe. You can be friends with people that are of the opposite sex. Hey! Yeah, I feel like he gets it, but it's good to say it anyway. I said some really fun. Listen, Rue, you a drug addict. I don't take nothing a drug addict says person. <laughs> As your friend, I need you to know that I'm sorry. And I love you. Love you too, kid. Thank mm, you. Cute. For not telling me drugs. <laughs> your friend, I got you. I love it. Just me. Babe. She's like, I'm watching everything. 
You know what happened? Not having fun? And he didn't care. You gonna stay mad? Yeah. You think you can stay mad? You can't stay mad at me. Look at you. I don't like the way that like he told her to cover up because I feel like the way someone is dresses is no one else's business. Oh god. What in the motherfuck? What is going on? This is supposed to be like some hazing thing? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Are you okay? Hmm. Yeah, no, I understand that. That was horrible. What the fuck? I'm assuming it was like some hazing thing, right? So that's like, that's sexual assault, dude. Like, go to the RA. Well, you probably can't because they were probably the football guys, right? Mm, you can cry about it, it's okay. Is he doing that thing where he just stuffs it down? You can feel it, babe. No, you feel like you can't. Yeah, he's just stuffing it down. Good job, Dad. Good job. You really made like a healthy individual that knows how to handle his emotions. <laughs> It is. Don't let it go, babe. She does not want to have sex anymore. No. No, I mean, I mean, I guess. Of course. Yeah, okay. It's a complicated situation. You probably don't really know how to handle it, and I don't blame you for that, but, like, in that situation, you can't let it let go of it. Oof. He just wants to fuck the pain away. <sighs> Neither of you are going to say anything, are you? Mm, fucked up. So uh, you just didn't talk about it, left him, and then you're just going to go... <laughs> it's so hard to judge people, like for like all of the things that they do in this show because they're teenagers and like a lot of them don't have like the processing like to really work through these issues you know oof babe Y'all are drinking this shit, like, this shit straight. Well, in the pool. Yep. You're gonna wanna go fish her out, babe. <laughs> oh, God. This is not gonna be a fun situation. Oh god, this is his first time. Like, um, like sex, sex. I feel like it's his first time, isn't it? Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, you're How has her lipstick not come off on him? But no, no, no. It's not. So, so you I think it's because he genuinely likes you. You don't want to fuck me, Ethan. I do want to fuck you. But it's not just because of that. Well, I don't fuck virgins. Really? Yeah. You know what? It's a lot of responsibility. I like to fuck people that know how to fuck. Bet. So I can figure it out, babe. I'm a quick learner.
Go for it, babe. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Don't ask. Okay. Don't. <laughs> You'll know. You'll know. You don't have to ask. Can you swim up? You good? Yeah, you good. Okay. Good. What are you doing? Although I joy in these, I have no joy in this contract tonight. What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. Too rash. Too unadvised. Too. Are you quoting Shakespeare to me? Let's get in there with her, babe. Maybe Ellie was right about jewels. Cause this doesn't feel good. Yeah, there's something wrong. Okay. Can you stop? Stop. 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 I knew it was going to happen whether she wanted it to or not. <laughs> now you're sending her mixed signals, babe. I just wish she told me about last night. Oh, yep. More things are happening. Oh, this dick fucking. Oh, what did he fucking do? What do you want? I need something from you. You'll say that I choked Maddie. Because I'll put you in jail. Or on a sex offender registry. I mean, it's your choice. I don't want to force you to do anything. Can you get in trouble if it's like your own photos? I think you can, right? And that's the whole point here. But like, I don't know if that's actually like a thing. I'm dancing away the pain, it's fine. What's up, man? What? Are you saying Cassie? Yeah. I think she's dancing. Don't take anything. I said no. He's gonna force it, isn't he? I think I really got to your mind. I wouldn't. Good for you. I didn't fucking ask. <laughs> oh god, can we stop? Just just get let it happen. No, not this. Don't let this happen. I'm just saying just like the the inevitable like him walking in on something happen. The like the <laughs> the lengthening of it is just hurting me. That's what she said. <laughs> so I can't do that. I can't finger you. Mm-hmm. I feel how hard my dick is. No. Why? You have no idea how much it hurts. Oh, oh, babe. You're like a minuscule pinprick of like a splinter coming out of your body. Oh no, must be painful. Can we just... just get it over with, please. Lex? Oh. What's up? You seen your sister? Oh, she went home a while ago. Oh, she's being a good sister. Oh, she's probably sleeping. Alright, well, when you see her, can you tell her to give me a call? Yeah, definitely. He deserves to know, but like, hey. this was not the way to find out. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he deserves better than to just like walk in on it. Actually, look, look what? I really like you. I wouldn't tell anyone. Good for you. I said no. So no one will know. I'll know. I feel really drunk. I should just go home. Where do you I don't like where this is heading. Oh, wow. Sorry for what? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? Get over it, dude. It's not personal. Literally the second time you've done this to me. So if we're not gonna fuck, then what are we doing? You're the one who came to me after the last time. And what you have to say or what you think about things is if you're so fucking interesting. Wow. Fuck, are you dumb? Good thing you came dressed in a jumpsuit. He's just dressing up as his future self, let's be honest. Who the fuck does this girl think she is? Who the fuck do you think you are, dude? Fucking boring. You have the personality of a cardboard cutout, dude. Shut the fuck up. Any guy who says he's interested in me beyond just fucking me? It's full of shit. Mm-hmm. Bet. Not everybody is as empty headed as you are, my friend. Oh my god. 
that man is a piece of shit. Oh, babe. You look like you're struggling. So do you. You breathe, baby, breathe. <laughs> what was that about not, one, not knowing how to fuck? You want to run that by me again, babe? He's just got to leave her hanging, right? Oh, he already came. That's okay, babe. Oh, poor baby. My god. <laughs> this poor girl is playing like a hero. She's imbuing Bob Ross. <laughs> Not baby, you're a human being, and that is okay. What do I feel like he's about to hit someone with that car? <laughs> you're dry and dressed like Bob Ross. Yeah, babe. The fuck are you doing, dude? Oh no, he's got his crime hoodie on. He's got it. I'm about to commit a crime. Oh, <laughs> dude. Is that the same place he broke into last time? Oh, no. Baby, no. Oh, baby, no. Mm, God, you're worth so much more than that. I mean, like, it's school, though. You keep being good. So are you. Not the best. I don't know if I'm not the best. You don't have to be the best. No, you don't have to be the best. You just have to be good and consistent. And a good team player. It's all in your head. You let doubt creep in. Done. Yeah, I see. Okay, he's. Oh. Oh yeah, it is the same dude. You just gotta go beat him up because you feel like it. Morning, bro. <laughs> Dude, this poor guy. Please don't fucking hurt me again, please. Sorry, I'm not gonna hurt you. You're in a fucking neck brace. Just sit down. Whatever. I mean, I wouldn't put a posture. Come on. About what? Your options? It's okay. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna make him say that he choked Maddie. But what does he have on him? Just fear, I imagine. <sighs> I get migraines constantly now. I can barely Tyler? Much Tyler? I don't care. You should. You did that. You're a piece of shit. I need you to get in your car and drive down to the East Island Police Station. You're gonna walk up to the receptionist. Yeah. You're gonna tell her that you'd like to confess to a crime. Or what though? Are you just gonna beat him up? Like what? The carnival. You ran into Madeline Perez, the junior at East Island High. Wouldn't he have been in hospital? Madeline Perez is gonna go down to the East Island Police Station. She's gonna walk up to the receptionist. She's gonna say that she'd like to report a crime. What crime? On the weekend before school started, she went to a party. She got intoxicated. She was raped in a swimming pool by a 22-year-old college student named Tyler Clarkson. Jesus. Who on the second night of the carnival assaulted and raped her again. I know he's afraid, but like, logically, if you went to the police station now and told them what he had just threatened to do and say like, look at me, like, last weekend I was in hospital, like, do you really think I was capable of choking somebody? <laughs> But I know he's afraid, so I'm not judging him for that. I'm not gonna confess to a crime that I didn't do. And we'll make you confess to one that you did. Either way, it doesn't fucking matter. Mm. So technically he did do that, right? Like it was statutory rape, right? He was the guy who assaulted me the night of the carnival. Jesus, babe. Something about this whole thing just I don't know, it just feels odd. It's because it is. Got a girl in 202 says she witnessed the Perez assault. Ah, Jules. Yep. Also bribed. Not bribed. Threatened. Blackmailed. That's the word I was looking for. And uh, I saw this guy yelling at this girl behind one of the... You see the guy in the neck brace? And uh, the guy that hooked up with Maddie the night of McKay's party. Did anyone coerce you into making this statement today? No. <laughs> so you like lock eyes, you're like. False police report or making false statements to the police. 
impeding a criminal investigation is a very serious crime. Punishment yeah. up to seven years in prison. Yeah. I do. I'll ask you one more time. Are you telling us the truth? Okay, like, you know she's not. She's obviously too afraid to say it. I don't usually trust the police to, like, do their job. But, like, I feel like this one police officer I was just saying there's something off about it, knows that there's something off about it. Gross. Y'all have no taste. <laughs> You're both terrible people, but I feel more sorry for Maddie than I do for Nate. Nate's just a terrible person. Wow. Good for you guys, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 